Hey, Ron. Good to see you. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we have a number of members who have signed up to be here, uh, but the most important ones are already here. Right? Uh, I'm Rob Portman, co-chair of the Ukraine Caucus, and just got back from Poland uh, night before last, including going to the Ukrainian-Polish border. Um, I'm going to speak briefly because we have a lot of members who would like to talk today. Um, I thought that the remarks by President Zelensky were, as usual, powerful and passionate, not just his words, but the images he showed us, images we're seeing on our TV screens and online every day, images of Russian forces deliberately targeting innocent civilians, Russians killing their neighbors. What the Ukrainians want and what President Zelensky asked for again today was the ability to protect themselves, the ability to have a fighting chance against the overwhelming Russian forces, particularly in the air. What we need to do is change our approach. We need to be more creative and quickly in providing the Ukrainians what they need to protect themselves. This does mean anti-aircraft weapons. This does mean planes. This does mean drones. This does mean everything we can possibly do to protect a country that is under siege. Again, what we're asking for here is simply to give them a chance to protect themselves, to give them a fighting chance. The fight for freedom is being waged right now in Ukraine. In many respects, it's our fight. And that's why we need to be there, standing side by side with Ukrainians for freedom. With that, let me give you the list very quickly here, of the order if you're here. Senator Risch, Senator Wicker, Ernst Sass, Kennedy, Cruz, Young, Cornyn, Marshall, Moran, Fisher, Langford, Hoban, and Sullivan. Folks aren't here. We'll just bring you on. I didn't make that list, but somebody did. Um, so, with that, Senator Risch. Well, thank you very much. Like all of you, 